We're Eamon and Beck, and for the last 10 years, we've been nomads living out of backpacks, in vans, and now we're looking for our next home in Mexico. But since we haven't found a land home, we thought we'd explore the sea as another option. For the next 48 hours, we are going to be living aboard this sailboat and trying our hand at boat life with little to no experience. So we're gonna learn how to navigate, hoist the sails, and overcome all of the many obstacles that come with living at sea. The dishes are shifting. Yeah. We're sailing, baby. This is brutal. All aboard. Good morning, sailors. Not really sure what the plan is, but you're coming along. The plan is to fit all of that onto a sailboat. We have no idea how big it is or... Alex told us he has a sailboat. <laughs> we haven't seen any photos. He said Adam can come, and here we are. Is Alex here yet? Bonjour, comment ça va? Tokyo, is Tokyo coming? I'm kind of hoping it's like a yacht. That'd be nice. In the off chance that you don't know who Adam is, he's my bro! Comes to visit every March break. What's up, you so two? lucky. There's like a chef and everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hola. Hola. I'm actually really looking forward to getting some time on the ocean. So okay. Alex is not always on his phone. Okay. I actually be able to talk to him. This guy's a busy guy. Hotel so far so good. How can I help you? We're also gonna do our best to disconnect, but we're supposed to be uploading a video tomorrow, so the computers are coming and Starlink is coming, but hopefully we don't have to use it. Andale, andale. Oh boy, this way. I'm not sure why my heart is beating through my chest. <laughs> I do get quite seasick, so as we approach the boat and Alex is teasing, not this one, not this one. And I haven't seen a photo, so I don't know. Is it this one? This is your boat? Are you joking? Yeah, it's basically a yacht. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour, comme ça va? All right. We're going sailing. Poor Adam is just the mule. Back guys, don't up. worry about Adam. Yeah, don't guys have fun. <laughs> Check out the boat. Hello. Hey, guys. Welcome to the boat. <laughs> Come on in. Is this a cutting board or a step? <laughs> uh, both. <laughs> Whoa, this is nice, dude. I hope you like it, yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm still kind of 50% Feeling like Alex is gonna be like, guys, just kidding, this is not my phone. <laughs> Let's get out of here, no one see us. <laughs> picture of picture. proof. I put this on every boat around here. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. What's in there? Uh, what? Just water. <laughs> water. Safe water. Brown water. Now for the tricky part, fitting it all in. This is a lot of food for two days. Uh, all we really need is athletic greens. Oh, you have a little barbecue too? We went grocery shopping under the assumption that there was nothing on this boat. But these drawers are pretty full, so getting this all into the boat is going to be a challenge. <sighs> Fridge is broken. Look at how stocked he is. On what? Everything. Oh, wow. It's very windy out there, which is great for sailing, but massive menus for my I don't know why we keep doing this to you. It's Buddy's new spot. The horizon chair. I right, because I love it. I love being at sea. It's, I love it too. Yeah, and you love it. it so much. It is worth it. So, don't take it for now. In case of someone being pregnant, it cannot be taken. <laughs> so right now, we're waiting until the water tanks finish filling up. Oh, there's threads. So move that one over here. Yeah. We did it. Hey, have you guys seen the safety boat on board? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little deflated. We'll pump it right up. Maybe take your shirt off. <laughs> 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 That's the only reason we brought that out. <laughs> this will take forever with this. I, <laughs> I thought he was joking. <laughs> Six hours later. <laughs> Does it look all right? Yeah, it looks great. 
<laughs> yeah. Mm, oh, crap. <laughs> Do you think the dinghy will be okay if we uh, get caught out there? Mm, we have life vests. I have not turned on this engine for at least half a year. What? Yeah. Except the time like before the camera went on. <laughs> <laughs> Drama! So we'll try. Let's fire it up, Willie. We'll see. Fired up right away. Partying. All right, it seems that everything's working. If you guys see anything that's not turned on that should be turned on, comment down below. We tie it very securely for hurricane season and then it's a pain to get it out. I don't know if Riley will approve that we <laughs> tie it to this thing. He probably won't approve the dinghy so far, but everything uh, else. Let's, let's not show him the dinghy. <laughs> There. And... No. Right, we're free. Alrighty. The sun's coming out just in time. Seems like we're moving. Bon voyage! Au revoir, La Paz! We've just left the marina here in La Paz and are headed towards Espiritu Santo, which is Anna's favorite place on earth. And it's about 70 nautical miles away. It's a super protected island, so we do need a permit to visit. Can't wait to check it out. This is Milo's boat leaving for San Francisco Island. Five personas y uno perro. All right, the jib's up. We're gonna mass, we're gonna, what's it called? Mass the main? <laughs> mass the, I don't know. Take out the main. No. Put the main up. It's time to hoist the main. I don't know why I'm yelling. Yeah. But I feel like you gotta yell when you're sailing. Decking! Pivot! Pivot! It looks like it's a little jammed at the top. Okay. He's coming. Are they looking, coach? Yeah, they look all right. We're going off diesel. <laughs> We're sailing, baby. All right, Mr. Zumi 4, Please come me. back to me. Please me. Oh, did you see it? Did you get one? Yeah! <laughs> With my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's two wheels! Eamon asked me earlier why we keep getting me in this situation when I know I get seasick. And as soon as the motor goes off and it's just the sails up, peace and quiet out on the ocean, I guess that's why. I love it out here. Whoa! Woo! Zoom me, baby! Oh man, something's crashed down here. I was just kind of to see what it was. Oh, it just looks like a tool bag. The dishes are shifting. If you get seasick, you do not want to be down here. That's the worst part. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, qu'est-ce que c'est? No, no. <laughs> my bad, dude. Hey, Hondro? We, oui, monsieur? I don't think we're sailing anymore. Oh, we are. <laughs> There's no wind, it died. Back on the diesel. I wasn't filming, but Beck just asked me to make lunch. And I said, what would you like? She suggested the Thai Asian noodle bowl with fried tofu. Shouldn't be too big of a nest, right? She gets bread. Not again. <laughs> Which is gracias. Cacahuate, lunch. Ooh. It's 
taking a moment, feeling super grateful. It's so cool to have been in Mexico for long enough to make friends that live here. I'm already calling this my boat. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks to Alex and Anna for bringing us out. It's just such a special way to see a country by sea. Beautiful. I'm looking for a spot to park. I mean, drop anchor. Welcome to our home for the evening. Now that we're settled in, I thought I would just give you a really quick tour of the space. So we're on a hunter boat. It's 46 feet long and... Alex, how many people does the boat sleep? So it has three cabins, but one cabin is a little smaller. So maybe five in cabins and two more in the sofa. And back here we have the cockpit where we've been hanging out all day. Quite comfy, two little couches. The helm, I believe it's called. Cockpit. Isn't this the helm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. Easy, this is my tour, <laughs> Okay. One of the major highlights of this area is the dinghy. This dinghy is actually auto deflate. So if you accidentally leave it inflated, <laughs> it will auto deflate. As a super tall chica, I love the headspace in the under cabin, let's call it. Lots of room, super spacious. There's a big U couch with a table and then two comfy chairs over here. Even the nav station is super, super comfy. So you can sit here and read your maps and press all your buttons. Call your friends. Call your friends. Come in, car ramrod. Come in, radio. Welcome to La Cocina. Here we have a fridge. It's a little sticky. <laughs> <laughs> it only works sometimes. Give it like a, give it like give it one beans. hard pull. Yeah, beans. one, one, just one, one, one zip. Two, three. All right, no. Luckily, there's an alternative door for the fridge. Four burner cooktop with an oven underneath. Over to the toilet. This is the first bathroom that you can actually access from our bedroom or from the main area. Toilet, shower, and a mirror that's way bigger than anything I have in the van. Welcome to our bedroom. I'm actually really excited because we've come into a really calm area. I think I'm going to have a great sleep and an even better morning view. And mirroring our bedroom is what we're calling Coach's Corner. This is where Adam will be sleeping this evening. What? What are you doing in there? <laughs> hey, that's my room, bro. I was just making the sheets. He doesn't have access to the ensuite, but comfy bed nonetheless. So this is the captain's bedroom. We have one in the second one. Oh. And here's the bed. Oh, I've been wanting to do that all day. We have the main library there. We also have some skylight here. And we have the fence for the summer. Nice. It's actually really comfortable. Here we have the toilet room with a mirror and sink. We have a detached shower. Oh! oh. <laughs> to redeem ourselves from that pathetic lunch, Eamon and I are on dinner duty. Eamon and I? Eamon made the pathetic lunch. Oh, okay, so Anna and I are on dinner duty. Adam and Beck. All right, whoever wants to help, but Step I'm on dinner up, duty. boy. It's just that you... I'm ready. The plan so, for... where are the veggies? Here See. or here? Yep. Mm, See? Um, yellow pepper? Yellow. The plan for dinner is an Asian noodle bowl with lots of fresh veg, some tofu, and rice noodles. <laughs> I've never like sniffed it before either. Can uh, soy sauce expire? It expired in 2021. It's a bit acid. Yeah. But I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Come <in the> <laughs> 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 Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. What are those? Vegan donuts. Mm. Alex mm. is loving the camera. <laughs> the fame has gone to his head, yeah. right to his head. He's losing it. Mm. Mm. So Aww. what does uh, Tokyo do for the washroom? Does he know like what to do? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he goes in the in the pointy end. The pointy end is <laughs> yeah. sometimes forward. And he goes there and in the morning we just bag it or Wash it if it requires washing. Is that where he is now? Life? Tokyo? Oh, Tokyo. I love you, Tokyo. Thank you for bearing with us. Are you going to bed? Si. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Good night. I'm the first to go to bed always, but I'm normally the first one up too. Bye, everybody.
There's something so special about coming into a place when it's sunset or almost dark because you don't get a full appreciation of where you are until the morning after. So I'm just taking it all in this morning. Cheeky. Cheers, bro. Morning, Tokyo. Time. Cold. You ready? Uh, yeah. As you saw yesterday, when we're living on the road, we sometimes have peanut butter toast for lunch. Yo, toss me some AG, bro. Super important that we hit all of our nutrients and get that nutritional insurance first thing in the morning. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video and helping us make that happen. <laughs> oh. Team workout commences now. Keep that knee as high as you can. Keep it there and extend. For one, bring it back. I have been drinking AG1 for the past two years and I always feel so much better when I start my morning with it. And that's because this is packed with things like a mushroom superfood complex, pre and probiotics, supports your immunity, gut health, and aids in recovery. Ow! Recovery is gonna be needed today, folks. Woo! Just one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients. It's my first time having it, and it's sweet and smooth, and I like it. If you're like us and you can use a little nutritional insurance, head to athleticgreens.com slash Eamon and Beck. With that, you will get five free travel packs, as well as a year supply of their vitamin D3K2. Good job, guys. Excellent. 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 Ew! <laughs> Well, that's a million dollar morning. What's going on with your hair, baby? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. For breakfast this morning, we are making banana pancakes with some frozen berries, maybe even a berry coolie. We have an order of five matches yet to come, and we've got Anna cutting up some papaya and maybe pineapple. Oh, I love it. I just needed the affirmation. Ooh. Ooh la la. Naturally, Eamon and I are working on our Spanish, if we can even call it that, but Adam just pulled a trick out of his toolbox from the time he lived in China. In China, it's very common to count to 10 all on one hand. Obviously, it's just one, two, three, four, five, but then six, seven, eight, nine, wow. ten. Okay, what do you rate breakfast? Ten. ten. <laughs> what do you ten. rate breakfast? Nine. Is that right? Oh my uh -oh. god. Nine. Uh oh, who failed? And you? No, <laughs> Only a six? six. <laughs> I want another coffee. Bah. Just because maybe tomorrow's breakfast could be a ten. Bah. Seven, I think. Eight, eight. Oh, eight. eight. Not bad, chef. Eight. Thanks, chef. That's because I put protein in his pancakes. <laughs> Suits are on, wind is up. And we're gonna head over to another little bay where there's some epic snorkeling, according to Anna. Some turtles, some fish. And maybe some sea lions. Some sea, really? So sailing is something I am definitely interested in. I was talking a lot with Riley when he invited us on La Vagabond, but still very intimidated by the whole navigation process, getting from A to B, reading the charts and the wind. Yeah. And these, all these rocks And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. And Alex has showed me the new age tech of basically plug and play GPS, which is insane. Just an app that updates the charts, the marine charts, all the time. So we're coming out of this bay and we want to go to this dive spot. As simple as clicking on route, automatic, then we click on the point that we want to go. And it keeps us a stat. It's 1.3 nautical miles, 19 minutes. I forgot we were moving. That was really Where is it? Oh, that's a dolphin. That's a dolphin. Oh! Oh, I saw it. Yeah, it's further. Dolphin! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're coming. There's a bunch of them. Oh, my God! Oh, it's a happy dog. 
Yeah. Snorkeling. Whoa! <laughs> Wow. That was something special. Adam just picked me up on the stand-up paddleboard and brought me back from the island we were snorkeling at. I think that's what the dinghy is normally for, but as you know and have seen, our dinghy is not so bueno. <laughs> and he's just gone back to pick up the others. I'm just taking in the surroundings. It's so beautiful here. We're parked in the middle of the Sea of Cortez. To my left, to my right, are these rock cliffs with cacti growing out of them, which I've never seen before. The water is this aqua blue color that you dream of when you think of going on vacation. The sand is white and crystal clear. It's just an amazing place to be. I wish I could bottle up all of that sunshine and the energy it gives me and send it right to you through the screen. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> All right, ma'am. This is a full service business. Oh my god. We'll bring it right to the ladder. Full service here. <laughs> you can bait him with food. Couple old school guys having to swim their way home. Oh. How was it, sir? Oh, oh. amazing. <laughs> hey, Patron, a possible margarita? Wait, wait, wait. So the expiration date is November 2020. Uh, that's, that's okay. 2020? <laughs> right. We'll do some of these and some of these and some half of us will get sick. I think it normally takes a few more days to get cabin fever, but perhaps that's what's happening here. I'm not sure. We're doing haircuts. We're on mullet mode. Mullet mode. Nice techniques. What happened to Eamon, Adam being your barber? He's too slow. Oh no. You don't even have a mirror, bro. It's a vibe thing. Tokyo! Oh my god, Tokyo! Tokyo! Oh no! That's for OnlyFans only. Alright, we are heading to the beach. Which means, we gotta figure out how to blow this thing up again. The one bladder held pretty good, but that side not so much. We might bring the pump with us yeah, 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 when we go. Definitely. <laughs> Almost got it, buddy! Yeah. It'll take him five poles. I think, what's this, nine? Ten. Oh, I'm going with six actually. For me, three. And uh, two. Ooh. I'm going one. Oh, wow. Adam goes Zero with one. chance. I'm going to try this. Whoa! Adam! Adam! You Adam. win, bro! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's just having been. Three years later. <laughs> I promise you the motor did not cut out. It was this just is living. A, yeah. A conscious choice to get a little more exercise. Typically when I get to land after being on a boat, I feel like really woozy or like grateful to be on land, but the boat's been amazing. So we can get one? We, uh, uh, yeah. Love you. Perfect way to end the day, watching the sunset from the beach with our fave people, back to the boat. Is the dinghy gonna take us? Yeah, the captain's right here. I'll just start paddling. <laughs> <laughs> Motor's got a little technique to it. Woo! We're good, baby. Wow. 
What a night. We invited them over, so we'll see if they show. Tonight I'm attempting a Mexican dish for my Mexican friends, which is very intimidating, so. Oh, the beef. Vegan beef. Vegan beef. I just asked Alex what he thinks of the meal. He said, is this pretty gringo? A little bit gringo. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes it gringo? Yeah. Like what makes it um, Mex Mex? We wouldn't usually do like a burrito made out of yeah rice <laughs> i mean you can find that on a restaurant but it would just be it's meat different. it's different it's ta very like taco bell like uh -huh, rice uh -huh. and good night cheekies after night one if you had asked me if i'd move on to a sailboat i'd probably strongly consider it after last night's shenanigans. No. This spot has gotten really windy. This is brutal. And noisy. And rocky. I am a no go. I feel like I can't even sit up because the. It's just the wrong anchorage, huh? Captain Error. First Captain Error. He's been great. Well, gonna have a great day? Yeah. We forgot to show off your mullet haircut yesterday. Give us a side look. Wow. Is that some pretty hot stuff? <laughs> I've just realized that no other boats spent the night here either, so I think that's probably for the reason of the rockiness. <laughs> Trying to spare you the details, but we're having a little toilet issue where it fills up instead of flushes down. Pardon, Captain. La toileta es lleno. We're macerating it. <laughs> yeah, it's going down. Yoo Just in time for you to fill it back up. <laughs> time to batten the hatches. We're headed home. Sunday. Nice. You're nice. That was sick. Oh.